Well, hello there. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Big Rig Frosty Gaming. How the heck's everyone doing out there tonight? Welcome to the show. We got another, yes, another brand new map. Well, brand new to me. It's been out for a little while. Not really that long, actually. Christmas it came out by a large H mapping. That's called Mossy Glen, Iowa. It's a pretty small map. Uh, very nice for single player. So uh, we got some old school machinery. Um, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, we're chopping some corn right now, making some chaff to uh, put, in, put into the uh, fermenting silos. Uh, what's going on, Marvin Martian? Uh, we got Trucker Nathan uh, renewing his membership. Thank you very much, Mr. Mr. Uh, Trucker Nathan. Thank you, sir. Uh, we also got Jason Landon with the 499 Super Chat. Says, hello, Frosty, and welcome back. And we also got Bradley Simmons with the $5 Super Chat. Thank you, Bradley, Jason, and Trucker Nathan. Thank you very much, guys. And welcome to the show. How's everybody doing out there? What's up, Levi Schultz, Scott Gantner, Duane Baker, Daniel Gannon, Justin Vanderford, Brett Kahutek. And Alan Williams. We also got Channing Hensley, Barry Thomas, Mr. Fireslaying, Mr. Van Booski, Frank Barton, Master Deadpool 2.2, Jacob Nunkstia, and Brandon Ach Eichmeyer. I love saying his last name. Brandon Eichmeyer. How's Brandon Eichmeyer doing tonight? Uh, Bill Beck Jordan, you having some tea or is that coffee? That looks like coffee. What's going on there, sir? So, yeah, pretty cool map. It's, it's, it's not big. I'll give you a little tour, but uh, first, let's fill this, uh, let's fill this up with some chaff. Get this thing fired up. First time using this uh, new John Deere 5830. Very nice, very nice little uh, forage harvester. Old school for you. We got it hooked up to a new Holland, and it's just uh, 
chopping up the uh, corn and turn it into, into uh, chaff and throwing it right back in there. Very nice. I do like it. I like it a lot. Here we'll uh, put up the uh, menu there so I can see how full I am. I'm about 70%. About a swipe there and back fills the whole bin up. But uh, we got different tractors on this farm tonight and a cool little setup. I like, the, I like the layout on this map. I did a little editing for my own little farmyard. I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but I needed a little more storage for the amount of vehicles I like to uh, operate with. Uh, Fantastic Frosty, glad you like my name. Telemarkers can't ever get it right. Uh, Brandon Ochmeyer. Love it. What's up, Donald Snodgrass? Mary, hello. Bama Nation, what's going on, man? No hi to me, Frosty. I was second. You were second in the chat. See, that's the negative when you're, uh, oop, or full. Yeah, if you're first in the chat, by the time I do my intro, the chat's rolled too much. I can't, sometimes I don't see who was first. I'm sorry, Bama Nation. Sorry. Uh, what's up, EY Blue Dragon? Uh, let me see. Brian Shyrock is in the house. What's up, Brian? Who else we got in here? Brian Santor, Fred Murphy. Having a great day, says Duan. AJ Hastings, probably good. You didn't Uber on Friday. Oh, it's today the third. Today is the thirteenth, isn't it? Didn't even realize that. Nah, I'm not superstitious at all. I don't believe in all that crap. But uh, it is the thirteenth. So for those of you that are into superstitions, then uh, good luck. It's gonna be a, a weird night for you. Look at this. We got a Lamborghini. Oh, has anybody ever watched uh, Clarkson Farm? I think that's what it's called. Clarkson Farm on Prime, Amazon Prime. Uh, he has a Lamborghini, and I wanted to put a Lamborghini on my farm. So here we go. First time driving a Lamborghini tractor. But pretty darn sharp. I think it's got a it's got a pretty cool interior too. I like it. And you can get that Lamborghini right off the Mod Hub. It is on the Mod Hub. So we're pretty much just going to drop the empty. Hook up to the loaded. And rotate these out. I don't have seasons on, so I don't have to worry about my my uh, crops withering. I do have crop destruction on, though. All right, so Mossy Glen, Iowa. This This map is based in Iowa. Just a little one, not bad. So this brings you down to the uh, cow area. And we've got two different sets of cows. I got dairy cows and I got Angus cows. So we're pretty much filling this up for the uh, dairy cows, of course. We're gonna put them into those big tall silos there to uh, ferment. But before we do that, let's fire up the uh, blower here. Look at, look at this little baby John Deere. <laughs> and we'll get this thing activated. And that's pretty much going to blow the chaff right up into the silo. And a nice little tractor. Look how cute that thing is. That's just adorable. All right. Pretty much just gonna pull this up right alongside the uh, that, and bada bing, bada boom. So technically, it's going in here and blowing up into there. So I've already done like four loads today. So we have we have close to a hundred thousand liters in there, which is a, a nice head start to uh, get the feeding process done. What the heck is that, says Sean Briley? What? Which part? Oh, that little John Deere tractor? It's it's on the mod hub. That thing's been out forever. It's just a little it's a nice little tractor for uh, stuff like that. It's out of the way so you don't run into it. It's just it's really nice. But yeah, the Lamborghini, what do you think about that? Uh let's see, I was first, Bama. You were first, Duan. Good evening, Scott Brown. Mike Rowetta. Hello, hello. 
Uh, we also got Daniel Ricard. Says, how you doing tonight? I'm doing all right. Not too shabby. Matt Hadenek. Hello. Uh, Jordan Kenny's in the house. And Dakota Stevenson. How's the daughter feeling? She's, uh, she's better, but she's not better. But she's better. She's better than yesterday. But yeah, she mostly uh, laid on the couch and played on the tablet, watched TV, and yeah. You could tell she was still coughing a little bit, but I, I made her chicken noodle soup. I made her a sandwich. Um, kept her drinks, you know, kept her glass full and did what I could. But she was mostly just wore out and tired. So, All right, we're going to let that keep doing that. Going to get back up here and keep chopping. Keep it chopping. Here's a look at the map. Here's an overview of the uh, aerial, the aerial view. It looks big, but it's not. So like the field we're working on right now is number 40. And there's all my setup for the cows. So when you look at that area there, it kind of makes the rest not look that big. It's a small map. It's not big at all. Uh, I went ahead and bought this whole plot of land over here. We don't own any of this stuff, but we do own all this. And we do have precision farming activated. So we got a nice little mix on our fields of uh, sandy loam, loamy sand and loam. Uh, pH levels are all okay. Nitrogen's bad on all my fields, but we'll fix that as we play on this map. No biggie there. Yeah, nice little map, right? It's not bad. Not bad. Oh, uh, hello, Frosty and Ch What's up, David Turville? What's up? Uh, wait a minute. Best state ever, Kansas. Why would you change your name to that? You, you just want to confuse me, don't you? You were on a mission, but you didn't change your picture. So as long as that stays like that, I won't get too confused. Yeah, that's Isaiah. That's Isaiah chat been a while since seen on Facebook uh, I don't do Facebook anymore but how you doing you don't even have a name how do, how do you get away with that he doesn't even have a name chat he or she it's just an American flag I don't even see a name for that person that is the first time I've ever seen something like that there is not a name that is so weird didn't know that was possible I see that Mary but I'm still calling you Mary because I won't remember anything else. But hello, Mary. Hope you're enjoying your mother's computer. Yeah, that's weird. He doesn't have a name. It's so odd. How do you buy cows on that map? Uh, I'll show you in a minute. I will show you. Let me... Uh... I'd hire a worker, but they'd probably jack this all up. So, But yeah, I'll show you how to buy cows here in a second kind of have to walk around all the fence areas until you find animal triggers. Uh, he doesn't like putting them where you can find them. <laughs> Just got, you got to kind of go on an egg hunt and hope you get lucky. But I found them. They're not too hard to find. What's up, Adam Groves? Oh, it's Chris Nelson. That's so weird that you don't have a name next to your... That's odd. Never seen that before. Uh, what's... Farming Sins. Hello, Farming Sins. So this is pretty much a straight line over here. I almost could hire a worker to go back and forth. Yep, that's just one pretty straight line. Yeah, once we get uh, turned around here, we'll hire a worker. That big stall we just drove by right there, that's the pig pen. It's the same pig pen he uses on Hannah, Indiana. It holds 2,400 pigs. It's ridiculous. All right, so we'll hire a worker here. Looks like Miss Frosty might be in there. All right, so she can take care of that. She'll probably be full before she gets to the end of this, uh, this row. All right, so first thing you need to do is pull up F1. 
and you just kind of have to walk around. I don't remember where I bought them, to be honest. Here's your gate. Here's a gate. This is going to be where manure piles up, I, I have a feeling. Another gate right here. This gate. This red gate, chat. So anybody that's wondering how to get animals, you got to stand right here. See how it says open animal dialogue? Bada bing, bada boom. You can get 50 cows there. So that's going to be my dairy cows. And then over here, you just stand next to this fence right before it, right about here. That's where you want to buy your Angus cows. Because they are in an open pasture and they have a hay ring, which you can put uh, hay bales right into this ring. That's how you feed them. All right, I think. Usually that's how it works. Yep, there's your animal triggers right here. And right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright. Uh oh. My little tractor got crooked. Got too far away. It, I think it vibrates so much that it moves away from the silo. Because I have to constantly uh, re reset it. Lamborghini is kind of blocking the little John Deere. All right, we're having some issues here. <laughs> ah, dang it. Sometimes you just have to manhandle it. There you go. All right, deactivate. Get this lined up a little better. It's got to be like right on that pipe to work. Right about, there we go. There we go. And the Lamborghini's empty. Sort of, not really. All right, now we're empty. A right, little tight squeeze there. All right, off we go. Uh, what's up, Frosted Chat? How's everyone's week been? What's up, William Bone? Doing all right, man. Doing all right. I uh, got another new map going here. Didn't help myself. It won't be the last new map I use either. All right, so I think hired worker filled up right there. Beautiful. Switch trailers. Yeah, right. And hook up. Get back to work. I'm afraid to hire a worker to finish this field. It's got like this real steep hill too. So I think if we squared off a little more, then the hired worker might be okay, but there's a real nasty, uh, real nasty hump on the end of the field up here. Hey Frosty, hope your dot. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. She's slowly getting better. Can you get a trailer with a spout on it? Can you get a trailer with a spout on it? Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean, Nathan? Whatever do you speak of when you say that? Okay, here's here's the big bump. Hired worker kind of gets stuck on it. A little crooked, but just gonna kind of see what a hired worker does here. Trying to make sure 
I, I don't think a hired worker damages your crops. See, that's a hired worker. <laughs> yeah, they don't know what they're doing. All right, that's cool. So a hired worker does not damage your crops. Good stuff. But you do, if you're the person controlling it. Uh, Matthew Lawrence, thank you for the $10 super chat. Says thank you for the great content, Frosty. Thank you, Mr. Lawrence. Thank you for the $10 Super chat. It's Mr. Matthew Lawrence. Thank you, brother. I'm just keeping an eye on this worker. I want to see if they can get over this hump. It might not look that bad to you guys, but they have a trouble. Plus, they make a weird turn. Like, look at that. What are they doing? Well, they pulled it off. There you go. All right, see? I don't even have to worry about them. Miss Frosty knows what she's doing. All right, so we'll uh, go get this load unloaded, and then I'll go uh, give you a little tour. Give you a little tour of the uh, animal procedures, and I'll show you my little farmyard over there where we store grain and all the equipment and all that good stuff. up Jacob Nukesta. Uh I think he's thinking oh a auger bin a auger wagon chaser bin ah uh, you could use one of those probably mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know this is the more uh, realistic way I guess of uh, doing chaff and silage What's up, Chris Taylor? How you doing today? <clears throat> Hello, Jacob Nimsta. Can I get prayers of my wife, kids, and dog? I just had a gyro and a dip trio of hummus, tzatziki, and garlic dip. Blizzard blowout scale is a 15 out of 10. Ugh. I was starting to get, like, actually worried there for a second until I started reading more. You got me, Rhett. You got me. I thought something was actually wrong. Which I guess that is kind of not, not a good thing going on there. I see. Dang it. This little tractor just keeps moving. Yep. This little tractor keeps moving on me. Can't get it close enough to the silo. In a pain in the booty. There we go. <sighs> Let's keep doing that. Yeah, something keeps shaking around. All right, we got it working, but something keeps, uh, I don't know what's going on. It keeps moving over on, on its own, I guess. Suspicious. All right, let's do a little tour though. We got it unloading. So here's our dairy cows. A couple things I haven't figured out yet is where the heck do I get slurry? So if anybody uses this map, it's Mossy Glen. Uh, Iowa by large H mapping. I don't see anywhere to get slurry. Uh, but here's where you feed the TMR. Unless maybe I just didn't catch something and it's only Angus cows on this map, but it seems like this is a dairy setup. But I, I, I'm, who knows? I might be wrong. Um, here's where the fermenters uh, unload once they make what you want. And then uh, in here is the workshop. 
And then over here, it says you can put straw bedding. It also collects manure. I don't know. So I do have a mixer set up, but maybe there's, you know, maybe there's not even... Maybe this is not for dairy cows. I don't know. I have no idea. And then there's a little gate here with nothing in there, which is suspicious. <laughs> but I'm, I'm kind of learning the map as I go. Uh, but anyways, we have some attachments here for our case. We have a shredder, a bale shredder. I uh, got a nice international 1255 with the uh, front loader. And there's our mixer. And then I got pallets of mineral feed if we want to mix. And there's my slurry tank. I've had certain mons move slightly when turned on or off in use. It's always been sus Yep, yep. What's up, Eric Landers? Need some wheel blocks? I think so. I think so. Need a wheel blocks mod. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Trying to figure out if there even is slurry. Like, like, should I not even have dairy cows on this map at all? I, I don't know. Watch that now. But I do have 50 Holstein cows. And then here's the, uh, the Angus cows out here. Which they have no food. But if I go into my animal menu... The uh, feed lot. Okay, wait a minute. That's that's backwards. So the feed lot should be the Angus cows, and then the pasture should be the milk cows. What? Okay. It doesn't make much sense to me, but all right. So we're going to sell all these, I guess. That doesn't make no sense, chat. So we're going to put the Holsteins out in the pasture? Thawed. All right. So somehow they produce milk. I don't know where the heck you would collect the milk. Uh, am I first this time? Nope. You are 150th. You should get slurry from any cattle you have, says Steven Schrader. Yeah, but I can't. I was asking where's the slurry trigger. I can't figure out where the slurry trigger is, and I don't see a milk trigger for a dairy cow. So milk and slurry. I don't know where you get it. There's, there's no pipes around like normal. Like, I don't know. But uh, yeah, these these guys, I guess. Ah. There they are. So these, I guess, are supposed to be the uh, Angus. We'll buy ten of those and ten of those. Very odd. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, good evening, Mr. F What's up, Artemis? How's the farming going? Not bad. You might need to place a slurry tank. That's fine, but it's just not normal for a large H map. A large H mapping map, all his maps have slurry and a place to collect milk. I just find it odd. Maybe I, maybe I just don't know where it's at. I don't know. Definitely has manure, but I don't see any slurry connections to load up the slurry. And I don't see any place to collect milk. I don't know. But, either way. Yep, yeah, see that little blower, it moved again. It's away from the pipe, so it's just moving on its own. Uh, Frosty, have you ever watched your streams back at faster speed? No, I've heard about that. And uh, I can imagine it might be interesting. 
I'll have to try that sometime. Watch it back and fast forward. So do I sound like a chipmunk or something? Is that thing full already? Goodness laddie. When you ran through the barn, a message came bottom right. Have you tried turning on info triggers to find it? And they are on. That's that's the other crappy part with uh, large H maps. I love his maps. I mean, I use them all the time, but he doesn't show you the stinking trigger points for anything barely. So I have my trigger points on. They just, this map doesn't show you where they are. You just kind of have to guess. <laughs> kind of sucks but oh well trial and error we'll just try to figure it out I guess somehow why the heck that looks like it's full it says there's 120 liters in there but the, the bin's full oh well got some glitching going on tonight uh, I need to put the extension for slurry and milk. My tractors keep moving also, says Artemis. Yours keep doing it too. Yeah. I think part of it might be the, the ground's not level, maybe. I'm sure. All right. Have Miss Frosty keep working there. And she's deciding to take a crooked route. I don't, whatever. <laughs> I, don't, I give up. All right. Let's uh, go hook up to the loaded one. But I know the pigs produce slurry. Because they have a they have a pipe that you can get the slurry from over there at that pig sty. What else am I doing? I'm farming, Mary. What do you mean what am I doing? I'm farming. <laughs> what am I doing? I need to put the extension, says Joe Boyer. Have you used this map, Joe? Or are you just saying that to say it? If you've used this map and you had to do it, then I will. But if you don't even, if you haven't even ever heard of this map or tried it, then I'll wait until someone that's used it says something. But I have a feeling you've probably never used it, Joe. You may have. I don't know. But yeah, if, if you if you have, then sure, I'll I'll do that if that's what we got to do. But I'm not looking for guesses. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see if anybody's actually had to do it or figured it out. All right, so that's... It's working. All right. It's just close enough that it's working, I guess. Oh, nope. Moved out of the way again. <laughs> I just got to keep moving it, I guess. There we go. I just watched Large H review of this map and he didn't mention it having slurry or milk. All right, well, there we go. Dang it. That sucks. All right, so that does mean we're gonna have to put one in. So slurry. Uh, let's do silos. And I have the uh, modded one by 46 mods. There it is. Manure transfer trigger. Holy crap. That's stinking huge. I don't need that big. My goodness. Holy mackerel. That is massive. Where the heck am I going to put that at? Ugh. That is ridiculous. <laughs> that is... Ugh. Yeah, we ain't using that one. It's a nice mod, but that's just too massive for this farm. Um, mossy... Liquid manure tank mod. Yeah, it's a little better. But still, looks kind of silly. A 
We could just plop it down inside the pen. <laughs> then we can just drive in there. Oh, crap. Um, we put it away. Yeah. We'll hide it in the woods here. Landscaping. There we go. Ah, uh, trucker Nathan. Same thing I was reading on site. He has it set for a beef farm. Okay. So it's a beef farm only. All right. Well, we're going to make it dairy. It's going to be dairy and beef. I like having I like having my dairy cows. All right. So there's a trigger point there. Looks horrible, but uh it'll get the job done, I suppose. Yeah, it's gonna look a little rough, but now we're just jacking everything up. Oh, yeah, beautiful. I use the bigger one. I don't want the bigger one. This will be fine. This will be fine. Got to smooth this out. Ooh, that's looking rough, huh? Having a good old time here. Jacking things up. That's right. want to be able to get in there. That'll be good enough for me. This big old hump here to fix. <laughs> oh, this is not what I had in mind at all. want that to not look so horrible. There we go. Alright, so it's going to be very bumpy through here. But that's okay. As long as I can get to it. Alright, and then we're also going to need uh, milk. So we'll need milk extension. Trying to remember what that's under. Or not a milk extension, just something to get stinking milk with. Uh, milk tank extension needs to be placed next to a cow shed or another milk tank. So we need an actual milk tank. And that might be a problem. Not sure if I have a milk tank activated. <sighs> Evening, Ronnie Gold. What's going on? You can get in trouble. Yep. Yes, you could. Uh, Locks are great. Keep it, says Matthew. Good evening. Uh, wow, you're strong, Frosty. I try. I try. Use it. It looks great. Exactly. Crap is right for sure. Yes, it is. What's up, Floodwater? How are you? Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Uh, you on PC, buddy? Yes, I am. Light 20 Shepherd. How's it going there, buddy? The Irish accents you did in the first episode on fast speed is perfect. He locked that. Uh, it was the GEA hole manure spreader. I just watched one. 
this is live intense, yes. I'm just having issues here, trying to find milk. Hello, Ronnie Gold. All right, so I need to find stinking milk. Production. Yeah. You know what? Screw it. Um, yeah, it'll all just be beef cows. <laughs> Let's, uh, forget about the whole milk situation. So we'll uh, replace those outdoor ones as beef cows since that's what it's intended to be anyways. All right, so sell all these and replace with Angus. Do 25 of each. And there we go. I don't have to worry about milk. So I don't have to worry about making TMR either. They don't need stinking TMR. All they need is hay. So, yeah. There you go. <laughs> You're having a rough evening. Eh, I should have studied more on the map. That's my own fault. I just assumed it was dairy cows and beef cows because all his maps so far have been that way. So I just didn't think any, I didn't think twice about it. That's my own fault. Nobody else's. I can run to the store and get you some milk if you want that. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need no stinking milk. How's Intense doing tonight? All right, so we're all full here. Yeah, I love this new little chopper, though. This thing is nice. So we are going to have to make some hay tonight. Hopefully that goes a little smoother than everything else so far. Uh, what was for dinner? Uh, nachos. Nachos. Yeah, I said some nachos. I uh, did it different. So I made all the uh, taco meat in a frying pan, and then I got a big uh, baking sheet out, put down tin foil, uh, put down all kinds of chips, to tortilla chips, and then dumped all the meat on the chips, sprinkled cheese on top, uh, put it in the oven for a little bit, took it out, drizzled salsa on it, and black beans, and then of course add whatever else, lettuce, and uh, sour cream, and salsa, all that good stuff. It's good. It's pretty yummy. Every nice. Uh, what's up, Pleasant View? Howdy, howdy. How you doing there, sir? I'm uh, checking out Mossy Glen, Iowa, for the first time and just realized it doesn't have any dairy cows on it. I had things set up for dairy operation, and it's all Angus cows. So that was a bunch of time wasted today. I, I, I spent a lot of time setting crap up, too. Dang it! Ugh. A little frustrating, but oh well. It is what it is. Thank you, Ronnie. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, you are on an inspiration. As you can see, my pick. I'm slowly trying to try to stream your role model and uh, <clears throat> your role model on a standard, in my opinion. I know I'm usually a lurker, but I am here. Thank you, Ronnie. Appreciate you, buddy. I'm glad you enjoy the content, and good luck. Good luck with streaming. Just remember, uh, if you're not having fun, then probably not going to work out too good. If it wasn't for my uh, enjoyment of what I'm doing, I, I, I would have had to go do something else. But I, I love it. I would rather do this than anything else when it comes to uh, a job. It's a dream job. What a long day, Maximilian. How you feeling? You feeling better? You out of the hospital and all better, I hope. Feeling better, sir. How'd Leona go the other night? Good. Uh, after the stream, we uh, found out how the slurry works on that map. Weirdest thing ever. Uh, you have to open certain gates to be able to get slurry out of the pipe that's out by the slurry pond never seen anything like it 
But uh, Stevie figured it out. He put on the uh, the dev con the dev controls so we could find where the trigger boxes were. So interesting. Large H has a different imagination when it comes to his uh, map creations. So each each map he does, uh, it's I scratch my head trying to figure every each map out. Once you figure it out, it's a blast. His maps are awesome. Pickles are just cucumbers. Eh. Uh, try set a milk tank. I'm not doing milk. I'm just going to do... Yeah, I don't care. We'll just do the uh, Angus cows on this map. Not a big deal. Cause plus, we got uh, pigs to take care of, so we'll be busy enough with the animals. It's all good. It'll be all right. Not a fan of that. Yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> and we watched the video, and it, it didn't explain it very well. We just kind of got lucky uh, figuring it out. Macaroni with sauce and meatballs. That sounds good, Matt Lane. What's up, Suzette? Suzette is in the house, and so is Mary. Mary and Suzette. Uh, we had tacos. You had tacos, do in. So you had tacos, and I had nachos. But once we get that silo filled, which it's getting pretty darn close to being filled, we'll be done chopping corn. So we got two bins full already. Shut this bad boy down. And go get one more of these unloaded. Got the old Lamborghini tonight. Loving it. There we go. Got some nice ditches on this map, too. Alright, and then I'll give you a tour of my uh, the other part of the farm there. I know I keep saying I will, but I, I promise I will. <clears throat> What's up, Mr. Beetlebets? Uh, any news on that farm you was talking about getting or working at? No, that, that won't be for like another year. Yeah, he's still got uh, lots to do to get things set up. But yep, I'm hoping that all works out. Should we call it? That's, that's what it's for, Floodwater. That's, uh, that's why I got it on the farm. Just like uh, Clarkson Farm. Such a, such a good show. If you haven't watched it and you guys like farming, which most of you do if you're watching the stream... Uh, go watch Clarkson Farm on Amazon Prime, if you have Amazon Prime. Um, really, really good show. And he's got a Lamborghini as well. Yeah, right. There you go. Knock that chaff in there. Just shoot it right up the pipe. <laughs> All right, so we'll let that do its thing. I'll go into productions and I'll show you. So there we go. We got 162,000 liters. Uh, the thing is almost, it's almost more than half full. Plus we got another wagon that's waiting to be unloaded. <clears throat> so this is just like Leona. It has earlage on here so you can do raw cornmeal and ferment it to mix with your silage and all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah, you say? Yeah. Shouldn't have got in that tractor. That messes everything up. Oh my God. Hey, you turd head. get that unloaded I'll give you a tour <clears throat> why do I have a pink bike next to my house on the members farm I just gave everybody a different color if you don't like it we can change it what color would you like it to be sir I just made it so everyone had a different color I uh, can't wait for season two of Clarkson's farm 
This isn't Minecraft. No, it's not. Real, real men wear pink. You should know that, Michael. But if you don't like it, what color would you like? Uh, I'll try to get it changed for you. Uh, let's see. Tour time. This is intense. I'm going to try. I keep saying I will, and I keep putting it off because I keep getting carried away at uh, getting another trailer full of chaff. But I need to actually show you the other part of the farm, so... And I uh, activated that simple, simple IC, I think is what it's called. I got that activated, like I was talking about. The one where you can interact with the doors and stuff. But it doesn't work for every tractor. Only certain mods that the modder made it compatible with the simple IC. So I think a couple of the tractors on this farm work for it. I'll show that to you guys tonight. It's nothing crazy. I thought it would be cooler than it is, but it just lets you open, like, doors while you're on foot before you get in the tractor. It adds a little extra realism, which is cool. Alright. Cool. Alright, tour time. While that's unloading, we're going on a tour. Oh, here's my uh, little office over here. Come on in here and sit down and relax, you know? Got some Netflix. Got our little game and PC over here. Play some farm sim when we're done working. Yeah, yeah. The hot water tank. Beautiful. Very nice. Want some coffee? Want to warm up some, uh, I don't know, a hot pocket? Go for it. Hop into the douge. Yeah. At least we got a nice pickup truck, huh? We got a long drive. To buckle up. It's going to be a while. Uh, how's your kid feeling? Uh, better than yesterday. Uh, is the silage silo a mod on giants? There, there are some like that. There's actually quite a few. I don't know if that specific one's on there, but there are uh, silage mods on the mod hub. Yep. Usually you just add either chaff or sometimes grass and it'll ferment it into silage for you all right so here's that big long drive i was talking about and we're we're, we're to the next location there we are we're already here <laughs> all right authorized vehicles only all right this just came out today on the mod hub from Slutes modding Nice little uh, John Deere four-wheeler. Isn't that thing cool? Thanks, cool, mate. Uh, but let's give you a little tour here. So we got our silos set up. And we do have the auger that you unload into to fill it up. And then you pipe out right here, I think. Hopefully that works. If not, I know how to fix that. But uh, here's our grain carts for when we do harvest. And then uh, this is where we can fill up with seed, fertilizer, uh, solid fertilizer, lime. You can get all kinds of stuff out of this bad boy. And then in here is where all the other toys are. This is our grain harvester. I got a sneeze. Oh, wow, Chase. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, so there's my uh, grain harvester. Got a case. 
And then here's our corn harvester. That is our Gleaner N6 Series 3. Beautiful. Very nice. Pleasant view, if you're watching. What do you think? It's a good choice, huh? Not bad. And then uh, here's our truck for uh, deliveries outside of uh, the farm, you know. Yeah. Not too shabby, eh? Not too shabby at all. All right. And then we got a little tour down here. So that is part of the map. And then the rest of this is stuff I added. Added the silo here. <clears throat> and then I put down a liquid tank over there to load up with either fertilizer or herbicide. And then I put down this uh, shed to house my tractors that do all the planting and fertilizing. So got a nice uh, T7. New Holland for spreading lime. And we got a John Deere to do a herbicide. And then we got a nice case turbo for seeding, drilling. And once again, we got a Pleasant View uh, 6. I think this is the 8 row Kins. Yep. Two, two. Yeah, that's the 8 row. Kins planter with the uh, T6 New Holland. Very nice. That's that's all our planting and fertilizing setup. And then we have all our grassland equipment on the other side of the workshop. <clears throat> What's up, David Ayers? How you doing? Uh, last freight shaker I drove was a Cascadia pulling Wilson Hoppers as Corp Nut. Thank you, Bama Nation. Bless you, bless you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I love tours. You are the best tour guide. Thank you, Intense. Thank you so much. So <laughs> here's our workshop. We can go through the side door here. We should have lights in here. Right there. There we go. So I got a nice Ford 80. I got all kinds of Pleasant View uh, farm, Pleasant View mods tonight. Here's a Ford 8630. Then there's our uh, lawnmower. <clears throat> then we got a nice 7080 Alice Chalmers tractor. And another John Deere 4840. That'll be for grassland work. And so will this bad boy. This is a uh, Massey. Pretty sharp tractor right there. The old Massey Ferguson. Yeah, so there's my tractors. And most of those tractors will be used on this equipment out back. So we have our forage wagon. Got a Massey tether, which will go nice with the Massey tractor. There's our John Deere uh, mower attachment. We got a big New Holland Heston baler, and that's the Heston bale picker upper. And then there's our wind rower. And then we also got a hay, a small hay bale thrower, which will hook up to the John Deere, shoot the bales into the wagon there. And these attachments are for that tractor we were doing the chaff with. This one does earlage. And this one scoops up grass. Like if I made a windrow of grass, it'll just scoop it up and shoot it into a wagon. And there you go. There's the grassland tour. And bada bing, bada boom. Look, you can adjust. You want to sit up? Or do you want to stand up and ride? Or do you want to sit down and be comfy? What do you think, chat? Uh, guessing this map is PC only. Yes. Yep. What's up, Game Farmer? Do they have an Alice Chalmers Model G mod? Uh, not that I know of. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of Alice uh, mods out there, unfortunately. Hard to come by. <clears throat> Hi, Frost. Did you end up having pork for dinner? No. We had nachos. I'm going to save the pork for uh, another day. How 
bought this four wheeler though. Looks cool. Just added that to the mod hub today. So I'm gonna try to get the uh, silo filled up so I don't have to worry about it for a while. The more we get it filled, the less I gotta work to keep it filled. You know what I mean? It's that first time getting it filled up that's pain in the butt. But once you get it topped off, it doesn't, it'll last for quite a while. And off we go. Bringing in some chaff. I made breakfast for dinner. That's always good. We we do that. We do that a lot, actually. It's just it's easy. It tastes good, and usually nobody complains. Yeah, I don't mind breakfast for dinner. Have some eggs, some bacon. At least I'm, I won't be complaining, I know that. I love the Alice Chalmers Model G because it looks like a bunch of pipes with a motor in the back. Uh, he prescribed me some eye drops, which my son tried to get from my local chemist, but they didn't have any. So he's going to go to town and try them instead. So what, your eyes are just super dry and like burning? Is it like a burning sensation feeling you're getting? Yeah. So all they said was eye drops, huh? Well, that wasn't much help, was it, uh, Elizabeth? <laughs> Your eyes have been killing you, and they say, just put some eye drops in it. You're like, what? Well, hopefully that does help. Um, I imagine it's probably causing you to have some headaches, too, on top of the uh, eyes hurting. But I uh, hope you feel better. All right, sitting at 50% here. Uh, this field is big. Yeah, we've got little equipment, though. So it feels bigger than it really is. Not too bad. This has just got a very, it's, it's small. Small scale farming. And seasons are off, so like I said, we might not even do this whole field. We're just uh, doing it until we fill that, that one bin. A Nectabar! We got Nectabar coming in with the $40 super chat. Blizzard Bar. Says, hello, kind Sir Frosty. Happy Friday, my friend. Happy Friday to you as well, Nick. Nick, I've been having a hard time. <laughs> it's been a rough, been a rough beginning of the show. I tried to have a whole dairy cow operation going when I realized, well, everybody realized except me, that this map isn't intended for milk cows. So, yeah, a little frustrating, but I think we're on, I think we're on, it's out of the way now, it's over. But yeah, we had a little hiccup to start the show up. Should be all right now. All right, beautiful. Yeah, this little guy is multi-purpose. So I can take this attachment off, put that earledge header on there if I ever want to. I can put the grass collector attachment on here. So this, this can be helpful in multiple ways. Good tractor. And we got precision farming on, so it's already saying that field's gonna need plowed at some point. Ooh, looking good, man. That's fresh. Ah, that. Darn thing moved over again. Hmm. 
switching to the wrong stinking tractor. Come on, baby. Got four percent that needs to get out of this wagon. There we go. Nice. Gemini Christmas. Frosty only played two maps. I think with all the different maps you play, I can see how it can be confusing. Yeah, I just, I just assumed it had dairy cows. I, I screwed up, dang it. But thank you so much, Nick, for the massive $40 super chat. Thank you so much, buddy. Always appreciate the support. Uh, looking to get a PC, but can't really afford to go over a thousand. Do you have any recommendations, Frosty? Have a PS4 at the moment, or just stick with the console until the price range under that price? Um, I'm I'm not the guy to ask, Jace. I don't want to lead you in the wrong way. I I always say that when people ask me about a PC, I'm I'm not the guy to ask. Um, mine's pre-built, and it's probably who knows how many thousands of dollars have been put into it. So for a thousand dollars, me personally, for being a streamer, probably hard to make that happen. But for someone that just wants to play a game at home and that's it, you probably could find something out there for a thousand bucks. But I don't know, so don't take my word for it, because I, I have no idea. And sorry, I'm not of sorry, I'm not of more help. I apologize. Just being honest. Thanks, Nick. <clears throat> Should put that four-wheeler on the 24-7 farm. I might have to. Thing's pretty sharp. I like it. There. Darn thing just keeps moving. Look at that. Yep, it just keeps moving. Son of a stinker. Just needs to stay there. <laughs> All right, that's going in there. There we go. Whew. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, I don't, I don't even need to worry about hay. As long as we keep that thing pretty darn full most of the time, um, we're good. Yeah, I think we got enough in there for now. Uh, we got over 200,000 liters. We're just going to leave it like that. Um, that's going to turn that into silage. It's already storing it as silage, which is beautiful. It's great. Then we can mix it with fermented cornmeal down the road and make, you know, just a sloppy TMR mixture. That'll be good enough. All right, let's go visit the pigs. We'll go see the piggies. We'll just cut through the field here since it's already harvested. Oh, I forgot I got a few more tools down in this uh, shed. Got a shed down here. Not a whole lot going on in this one, though. Could be some lights. Some pathetic lights, huh? All right. So uh, we got our white farm equipment tractor. I had to have that on the uh, farm with a nice cultivator, a case cultivator. And then over here, I just decided to put something a little bigger. We got a versatile, old school versatile. And it's hooked up to a ripper. That's also case, I believe. Yep, it's a yellow painted case. But technically we could fire this bad boy up and start ripping up that ground over there. Get a head start on it. Yeah, you see? Not bad. The interior, even got a little fan in here. Too shabby. Let's 
Let's see here. Nope. There we go. Kind of tear it up a little bit right there. You may be right. I think it's on a hill. That is why it keeps moving. I think it, yeah, the, the ground's definitely not level. Uh, I need to learn farm sim. I was horrible at this. As What's up, Cody? Oh, I love my, that's all I play anymore. I'm finally just uh, playing what I enjoy and sticking to it. I don't think I've played a different game. And I don't know. I don't know the last time I played a different game. This game makes me the happiest, though. Love farm sim. It's refreshing to not have to uh, think up different games anymore. It just it got it burned me out doing that. I can just focus on farming, and that's what I what I enjoy the most. I have a 58, 500, one terabyte, 16, paid just over a thousand. The good person asked about that stuff, Frosty's, uh, Podo, yep, Pody. Yeah, we got a lot of uh, techs in the chat that can probably help quite a bit with uh, siding on a PC. But me personally, probably not that good at it. Not the guy to ask. What's up, Simulation Station? I just subscribed to you last night. And I uh, watched your Midwest series. Started on episode one. Good stuff, sir. I love it. I love the way you uh, make your videos there. Good stuff. Hope you're doing well there, buddy. We're just uh, checking out Mossy... Mossy Glen, Iowa, by Large H Mapping. <clears throat> right, look at the terrain on this field. Nice. A little rough, I'd say. It's a little rough. Doing some weird texture stuff, huh? Cool little tractor though, huh? Bad. Uh, yes sir, what I do for a living and I live in Kansas City in the off season. Can you speak up a bit, Frosty? Mm, I'm sorry. I'm talking the way I always do. This is the only game I play, says Steve. Electrician Simulator was the last game. Is it? <laughs> uh, for the guy looking for a PC, says Game Farmer, uh, get an i5 with an RTX 2050, 16 gig of RAM, 500 SSD, and use it on your TV. There you go. And that's the thing. When we talk about PCs, there's so many different opinions and different routes you can take. So at the end of the day, it just comes down to... Who you want to listen to, I guess. Thank you, Quadruple A. Thank you, sir. That tractor looks very versatile. It's very versatile. It's not bad. It's really not bad. I like it. Uh, Chris Mincher. Did you already do a tour of the map? Was looking at getting this earlier. I didn't do, like, a full-blown tour. It's not a big map. It really is not that big. Um, I'm gonna see if a hired worker does all right. This thing is slow. It's not a fast tractor at all. All right, let's see how a hired worker does. Uh, Flavor Dave's Gaming, thank you for subscribing. Uh, El Bichon, 
thank you for subscribing as well. I do appreciate it. This thing is like barely moving. But that's fine. We'll let a hired worker struggle with it. It might be the tractor? I don't know. The tractor has 370 horsepower. And this says it only requires like 200 something. But it seems to be struggling. Uh, awesome, thank you, man. What do you think about this map? I haven't had the chance to check it out. I haven't either. Today, I messed with it for a, quite a few hours, actually. But uh, I like it. It's small. It's, I mean, it's a good size for one guy to handle, I think. Uh, we can fly around for a little bit here, chat. I'll, I'll give you a fly. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just gave me an idea. <laughs> Um. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. That's right. We have a we have a drone. Oh, I love it. Follow side offset. Eh. All right, check this out. We have a drone. How cool is that? How cool is that? <laughs> All right, so we'll take a little drone flight around the farm. So the versatiles got a hired worker there gonna start plowing the field and uh, here is the uh, beef cow operation so you got your two silos there your stop your sl your slob your stabs <laughs> that's to uh, store chaff and you know that's what we've been doing the whole time but uh, this is where the cows hang out so they have this little indoor pen. And then we also have 50 head of cattle out here in the outdoor pen, which you can throw hay bales into that uh, bale ring right there. And we'll get a little bit higher in the air so you can see the fields. It's, it's not a big map. It's not big at all. There's the different, different layouts. All the fields have their own custom... So, uh, layouts. They're not just like square. That's the outside of the map over there. Uh, at the edge of the map, you got a little little area if you wanted to store some vehicles. A little flat pad there to put anything you want on there. And then just cornfields galore. Because there is a lot of pigs. You can have up to 2,400 pigs to take care of. So that's a lot of harvesting to uh, keep them fed. Got to get a PC. No drone on console. No, no drone on console. <laughs> uh, that tractor fits your driving speed. Oh, Joshua, stop it. Does the tractor have a manual transmission? It might. That might be what's making it struggle. Oh, look at it. The versatile decided to uh, drive down the hill. Oh my goodness. What the heck is our hired worker doing over here? Look at him. What a dummy. Whew. Let's crash my drone. Oh, I didn't know you could get into this view. Oh my goodness, look at this. First person view. Nice. Ooh, that's awesome. Could take some uh, cinematic recordings with this bad boy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this guy's doing. Let's continue our uh, little tour here. It's 
So that's, uh, I already showed everybody this stuff over here. That's where I store a bunch of my equipment, my cedars, planters, uh, grass equipment. And it's not big. I mean, that's the end of that road is the end of the map. And then this side of the road is the end of the map. It's, it's a small, it's a small map. It's not big. But I pretty much just showed you the map. It's super tiny. That's it. Great for single player. Alright, my guy needs to start going back this way. I need to find out where some grass is so I can cut some grass. Otherwise, I'm going to have to plant the grass. Yeah, this is all corn. So yeah, not a big map. Hey, Frosty, if you make a second channel, would you call it Small Car Toasty? No. <laughs> nope. I would not call it Small Car Toasty. All right, let's park this bad boy. That's enough flying around. But that gives you an idea. Uh, actually, the map goes a little further up that dirt road, but uh, not much further. Right, we might have to, uh, what's going on here? Got to find a safe place to park this. Is it a small map? It is, Isaiah. Yes, it is. See how good my landing skills are. I want to land right on top of the silo. What do you think? <laughs> Good stuff. That's pretty cool. It's a nice little mod, huh? <clears throat> I think that I'll go to sleep now. All right, Elizabeth. I hope you feel better. Does it stay flying if you switch cars? Uh, I, I don't know. I parked it. I don't know. I'm going to jump off here. Oh! Ooh, it actually emptied the whole thing this time. Nice. Now oh, that Lamborghini is sturdy. Very sturdy. Alright, that's enough uh, corn chaff for the night. This parked up. Yeah, I might have to get rid of the versatile. Things moving a little too slow. Give a daughter Emma a shout out. She said it's her dream for you to say hello and alive. Oh my goodness. She needs to start dreaming of other things. I'm just saying, Bama. But uh, <laughs> hello, Emma. Uh, can we all say hello to Emma? Hello, Emma. <laughs> oh, 
Hope you're doing well, Emma. Hope you're enjoying some farming with Frosty. Alright, gonna just drop this over here. Park up the uh, tractor. Uh, pipe, 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 pipe. Too shabby. All right, I don't even know if I have any fields ready to uh, harvest or not. But uh, I think first thing we need to do is get rid of that versatile. As much as I like it, I think something's it's just not getting the job done. It's a little too slow. A little too slow, I think. And I've got it upgraded already, so. Yeah, I'll just trade it in for something else. Alright, so we need something that can handle that plow. Let's see. Plow, plow, plow. Where are you? Oh, no, that's a subsoiler. That requires 245 horsepower. So we're gonna need at least a medium-sized tractor. Hi, Emma. Look at everybody saying hello. Uh, okay, Frosty and Chad, I'm gonna watch Harry Potter. I'm on the fourth movie. I didn't even know they had more than one. There you go. Enjoy it, Trucker Nathan. Have a good night, buddy. What's up, Marco Salgado? Uh, Jessica's in the house. Hello, Jessica. Look at every everybody saying hi, Emma. Isn't that great? How's she feeling? She like that? Does she like that, Bama? Hello, monkey teeth. <laughs> monkey teeth. Oh, that's a name right there. It's AI and articulated tractors. They uh, is that what it is? <laughs> All right, let's see here. <clears throat> we'll find some. Let's just get a. Mm, that doesn't have. Mm, yeah, it's articulated. That's articulated. Uh, let's go back over here. What about... Let's grab this Ford. Got 430 horsepower. I think that'll get the job done, huh? <laughs> some... Oh, jeez. Put some wide tires on there. 71K. That leaves uh, six grand left over. Yeah, yeah. Ass. Cool. Little blue power, huh? Huh? What's up, Zach Ryan? What's going on, buddy? She's jumping up and down, saying I'm famous. How old is she, Bama? How old is she? It's awesome. Glad it made her smile. Yeah, this has 430 horsepower. This should have zero issues. Oh yeah, it already feels a lot stronger. A lot stronger than the other one, eh? That's right. All right, so we'll throw Miss Frosty in the front there. She'll drive. Nice big Ford there taking over. <clears throat> Manuel Bacara. Hello there. We got uh, Kevin Flores coming in with a $5 super chat. Says Emma. Says thank you, Frosty. I'm a nation 18. She's eight years old. Awesome. My uh, my daughter's nine. Going on 10. 
Ugh, crazy. Grow up so fast. So fast. See ya, Barry. See ya, Barry. See ya, Barry. See ya, Barry. Bye, Barry. See ya, Barry. Sorry, Emma stole your chat. It's all right. That's fine. We like it when that happens. <laughs> That's working a lot better, huh? See how bad they mess things up when they get to the end here. They keep wanting to go down the hill before, before they come up to the next row. And we need to clean that mess up. <clears throat> I remember using this tractor on uh, No Man's Land. Tough, tough little tractor. I guess it's not little, it's a pretty good size actually. Mandy McKinley, hello there. How's Mandy doing tonight? I think the textures are bugging out because of the, look at that. Because of the angle of the field, it's like the textures aren't angled with the field. They're like floating. Looking a, looking a little rough. <clears throat> You know, this this could be a one and done for this map. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the map? Yay, nay? Uh, what's your opinions so far? I might split this field in half. Kind of tempted. What do you think? Pretty much where I put this big strip. I could cut this field in half and make half of it like a grass field. That's what I'm thinking right here. I think that might be a splendid idea, mate. That's right. I think I'm going to do it. Why not? All right. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Let's uh, get out our paintbrush. We're going to make an extension to this, this uh, field right there. Oh gosh, Frosty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Instead of uh, splitting the field, I'm butchering the field. It's one of those nights. <clears throat> Might as well put a darn path in between it after this jack jack up I did. What a waste. I always have trouble uh, making straight lines when I do stuff like this. I always mess up. <laughs> uh, the white equipment are some amazing tractors, says Cody. I like it, but think it's probably could be more a multiplayer map. Really? It's so small though. If I had bigger machinery, I'd be knocking some of this stuff out a lot quicker, but. Yeah, but I see what you mean. I, I see what you, I see what you're throwing down now. All right, and then we'll put a little path in between.
I didn't say it was going to be pretty. Definitely didn't say that, huh? <laughs> but it'll work. So now we've uh, split it into two fields. And that'll keep the uh, hired worker from going into here. And we can turn this into a nice grass field when he's all done working. Yeah, that'd be nice, right? Be all right. Map is too small, I think, for a multiplayer. You know how positive of a person I am, but I say one and done. It might be Isaiah, but uh, let's give it a chance. Give it a chance, I suppose. So uh, pH value's bad. We're definitely gonna need to throw down some lime. Let's hop into the T7. Beautiful tractor here. A little new hauling. All right, looks like I'm already topped off with lime. Beauty. What a beauty. What's up, deer hunter? No paths. Uh, Mabda, you know, you aren't the only one, says Floodwater. What's up, Chase Church? How's it going today, buddy? We're doing a different map tonight. The one I wanted to do deleted a bunch of mods. Did you delete a bunch of mods? Not good. All right, let's get some lime thrown down here. Alright. Turn on fertilizer, unfold tractor. That's for that. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Just gotta spread. Nice. There you go. What do you think of that? <clears throat> Two guys working at the same time, getting things done. Have Steve hire a vegan to cut that field. <laughs> the map is called Back Roads County. Awesome map. Uh, we, we used to use that map for the uh, members server. Good, good map. Got a bunch of blue power on the field. We got the New Holland and the Ford working it. I'm gonna go too far on that. Come on, baby. Come on. Climb that hill. That is a nasty slope right there. My goodness, it's bad. All the tractors are struggling. This spreader spreads better than the other one. I like this one. Yeah, this is from the Mod Hub. Not too shabby. It's the uh, MP Taurus Robust. I think it came out a couple weeks ago. Or no, it came out like right before Christmas. Right before they went on vacation, they uh, released it. <clears throat> Spent a few weeks on it and so far accumulated eight million dollars. Eight million. Couple little patches here. <clears throat> Getting my lime all crooked. Maybe it would help if I uh, 
across the edge here. Come on, man. You're missing that boat. Get with the program. Not bad for a regular AI hired worker. Doing all right. Taking a break from course play tonight. <laughs> Taking a little break from it. <clears throat> there you go. Makes that little four wheeler look tiny, huh? Getting her done. What's up, Dustin Favor? You meant to tell me you're using a mall? Say it ain't so. That's right. That's right, I am. Uh, the map is called by Country F. Steve. Not enough detail for me. It's too plain of a map. It's it's small. It needs to be interesting too. Says Floodwater. Yeah, I like I like the feel of it. I think once I realized the dairy cows weren't on it turned me off just a hair, but at the same time, I could throw down some dairy cows and make my own little dairy operation, you know? Yeah, it's it's a nice, uh... Oof, 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 oof. Don't tip over! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's not a bad map, just... Not a, I guess, super exciting map. That's all. But I still like it, though. I do like it. So Precision doesn't like catching these little strips. So we'll just park it down here and wait till the hired worker's done. So that's ready to go. We just want to plant some grass. I'm going to get the uh, case fired up. And get some grass put in there. Already topped off with cert uh, solid fertilizer and seed. We just want to switch that to grass. There we go. Did I just get stuck? It's got stuck on a little slope. That's not good. What the heck are you getting stuck on, Mike? Right? There ain't nothing there. All right, something invisible is in the driveway. Not sure what's there, but something's there. We go. Fresh grass planted. Where are you going to put all your production, says Floodwater? No productions on this map. Well, I mean, I'm not doing any productions. 
and it's just some good old farming. Collision map or a mod dropped it. I don't know. Almost like there was an invisible mailbox there or something. Something was obstructing the way. Only beef on the map. Angus cows and pigs. There's a huge pig, pig sty right behind us. It can uh, house 2,400 ahead of uh, pork or piggies. See? Smart, smart AI worker. They backed up. Oh, shouldn't have said something. Oh, yeah, they can make that turn. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, so we'll let, leave them be. And... No, 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 no. You get away from that field, you punk. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, we're getting ready to demolish the other field. All right. <clears throat> well, the old Ford did a good job. Pretty much took care of this field. Stop. Too many issues. Not too shabby. What's up, Big Daddy Frosty? What's up, Chris? It was Gumby that was blocking your way. Those invisible rocks get you every time. Every stinking time, mate. Every time. Right. That final swipe of lime put down. But yeah, if I uh, if I upped the size of my equipment for at least the uh, the, the forage process, I wouldn't have taken so long. I got that little tractor. It just kind of you know takes some time, I guess. Yep, 2,400. 2,400 pigs. Yeah, it's right back there, that huge white building in the distance. You can have 2,400 pig. It's a lot of pork belly strips. Nice! Timing is done. I don't remember hitting that invisible thing with this tractor, though. We, we went out the same way. We went out of that same driveway. It's odd. See if we hit something here. Didn't hit anything. Very interesting. I hate messing with pigs. They eat so much. Can you imagine having 2,400 of them? I didn't I didn't buy all of them. 
That would be, uh, that'd be a little rough trying to keep them fed. Right. I'll show you the piggies. It's just like the ones on Hannah. the light switch all right so there they are uh i bought 180 so we got 180 uh pigs in here but there's room for 2400 ridiculous the lights lights on and the the blinds open there they all are Put a bunch more in there if you wanted to. Yeah, lots of slurry. There might be a low hanging collision on the tractor front end or something, possibly. Yeah. Might be it. Oop. Let me out of the door! Jeez. little fans going um but here's your slurry pickup you just park there and fill it up <clears throat> and then this is where you uh feed your piggies which reminds me we need an auger to put there eventually if we come back to this map Yeah, we'll just let the hired worker keep doing his thing. Uh, this side of the field has perfect nitrogen and grass growing. I'll see if I have any other fields that we can work with or harvest, possibly. I don't know if we do. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, nothing's ready to harvest, dang it. Uh, it says field 39's a grass field. Let's uh, hop on the four-wheeler and check it out. Ooh, I left that thing running the whole time. <laughs> so I guess we own a grass field right down here. Yep, right here. That does not look fully grown. Maybe it is? Ready to harvest. It's in the forage stage. Can't tell if that's fully grown. I don't think that's fully grown. It doesn't look fully grown. But it could be. It's hard to tell on a modded map sometimes. <clears throat> That'd be like trying to feed 2,400 kids. Yes. <laughs> be a little rough, huh? <laughs> I love how you can hop on it and stand up. Yeehaw! All right, see how our uh, fermenters are doing here. We got 3,800, 2,400. We could, we, we've got just enough. Oh, I need to turn that off. Move it. So we should have enough to make a little mixture here. Okay. 
got a couple cases on the farm. Can you keep up with how about with Maze Plus? I haven't never tried Maze Plus. I've always had the itch to experiment with it, but I feel like it'll be way too much for me to handle. <laughs> I have enough troubles with, as you can see, just the basic stuff. But uh, it does look very interesting. this bad boy in. We just want to get close to the uh, first silo here. And we'll pull up this screen. Add some of that. Some of that. All right, start filling. Why is it not? Uh, yeah, might be a one and done on this map chat. <laughs> Are you ever going back to Griffin, Indiana? No, Griffin, Indiana's done. Yeah, we already we already played the crap out of that. All right, won't even let me switch to the cornmeal. The heck, man. <clears throat> There's nothing in the back one. Yeah, it won't let me, uh, won't even let me switch. What the heck is wrong with this thing? It let me do it the first try, and now it won't let me do it. I don't need the name with one and done. What map is this? Looks nice as typical Dale. I uh, do not need the name with one and done. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, Moss, Mossy Glen, Iowa. Maybe I just forgot how to play the game. I don't know. I'm having all kinds of issues tonight. But yeah, I'm not... Uh, just a bunch of weird things happening. Like it's not letting me pick what I want to put in the mixer. It did the first time I backed into it, but now it's it's not. So Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> now that's a very nice tractor. The tractor is nice. I agree with you there. It's a good looking tractor, aren't they? Indeed. I think. Oh, this is that simple, uh, simple IC or whatever it's called, see? So you can manually open and close stuff. Take a look in the, the hood there. Pretty cool. bad I'd like to see a modder come up with a machine that you can make slop to feed the pigs make some slop that would be quite lovely All right, I'm gonna back in again and see if it fixed it if not then I don't know it's not letting me switch product It's just doing silage. What? I, I, yeah. It's, that sucks. <clears throat> Tip side left. It's not even going to let us dump that. Well, that kind of is dumb. <laughs> Do you and the boys play Pew Pew anymore? I haven't touched... I haven't played anything lately other than Farm Sim. 
I just haven't had, I just haven't wanted to. Yeah. What all do you feed pigs? I've never done it on FS22. Uh, soybeans, corn, sunflower, canola, pretty much anything. Anything that they'll eat everything but oats and cotton. They don't like cotton. I, I, I feel like they'd eat oats if they wanted. If you put oats, they'd, they'd eat them, but not in the game. They don't let them eat oats. But anything else? Excuse me, wheat, barley, sorghum, all the crops, pretty much, except oats. All right, so I guess we're not feeding the uh, cows, because <laughs> we can't. Whatever. Oh, 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 get out of here, get out. What, what the heck you doing? Stupid weirdo. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. Ugh. So making that path didn't do a darn thing. He still thinks it's one big field. Oh my goodness. All right, so now we're going to have a chunk of grass growing there. <laughs> Unless we plow over it. All right, all done planting. Let's bring this back to the uh, the house. <laughs> Where did you get that tractor, Suzette? Uh, which one? Which one? Hey, Frosty, is there any way we could chat sometime? I just got FS22 back and really don't know how to use some or know the mods you use. Uh, what? I don't know, buddy. <laughs> I'm not, I don't, I don't know. I, f I found all this stuff myself, so if I can find it, you can find it. Not to be rude, I'm just saying. I, s I spend hours looking for mods, finding things I like. Uh, just got to put a little time into it. Go to websites, mod sites. Uh, my, f my favorite one is King Mods. That's my favorite farm website. And then, uh, a lot of stuff I get straight from the modder. They'll have their own websites. You just gotta do a little research. And it does take time. And I spend lots of time doing it, so. If I can do it, you can do it. If I was a president, that's what I'd say. If I can do it, you can do it. There you go. There's my advice for the night. <laughs> All right. Uh, lots of sites out there. Oh, they're everywhere. You're right, typical. Yep. <clears throat> Matthew Ramsey, what the heck are you doing in here? How are you, buddy? How is Mr. Ramsey? Who remembers Matthew Ramsey? Come on. That was our one of our uh, Facebook moderators. Hope you're doing well, sir. Hope life's treating you well. Staying busy, working. Hope the kids are doing well and the wife's doing well. Nice to see you in here. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Just uh, farming away here, sort of, having some issues. Uh, the feed tractor of King, King Mods. Just like, yeah, that's where I found it. King Mods. It's actually a pack. It comes with some other case tractors. Got a lot of custom customizations on it. Very, very sharp tractor. All right, so we will not be mixing anything until further notice. Because apparently it doesn't uh, work. Do we have any slurry produced? Or is this not work either? Wouldn't be surprised. That's supposed to be a fill point for slurry. And it doesn't look like it's gonna work. I don't see anything for slurry anywhere. Man, how many, I've, I've, str I've struck an out tonight. Definitely struck out. 
I struck out. That's not even a word, struck. But we struck out. Uh, one, one issue after another. Well, with that planted, I'm gonna go stand over that grass field. Because I'm not sure if it's fully grown. So we're gonna fast forward time to the next day. And see if it grows like one more stage. I'm hoping. Turns like a yellowish color. Bum, 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 bum. Yep, I was right. There we go. Now it's fully grown. All right, cool. So it changed just a little bit. I got a little higher and changed a little brighter green. So uh, this is ready to cut. Uh, we're in the month of September. And here's our little grass field we just planted. Well, not little. That's actually a pretty good size. So that's growing. This corn is still in the forage stage, surprisingly. It's weird. Should be regular corn. Or like ready to harvest harvest. And here's our little patch of grass that our hired worker jacked up. I might end up plowing that or painting over that actually so it's not so close to the edge. Yeah. That sounds even better. That's how you take care of that situation right there. grass in there. There you go. Like it never happened. <laughs> Better nice. Uh, lots of sights out. Yes, tons, tons. You mean the grass heads out and matures, right? Yes. Uh, Frost, do you ever feel like an information desk while streaming? Mm, sometimes. I don't always have good answers though i feel bad but yeah i'm definitely uh not the type that's gonna give you all the stuff i worked hard to find like fire slain did that the one time i didn't even respond so he probably got the point <laughs> i spent i even said on stream i spent like hours and hours finding everything and then he says can you send me a light for all damn mobs so i just ignored him <laughs> like no i don't think so uh, let me see. You mean the grass heads out and matures, right? Heads out and matures. I'm trying to think what you're saying here. You're making me think too hard. I can't think that hard. Uh, let's get this door open. Or maybe not. Is the, is the map broken? Like, what is going on here? Can't even open the flipping door now. Like seriously, open the door. Thank you. Holy cow. All right, so we're gonna hop in to the John Deere. And we're gonna cut some grass with the John Deere cutter. There we go. Oof. It's like my darn door won't even open. Uh, feed tractors in the 4200 pack on kings. Uh, you mean... Yes, it is. Yep. King Mods is the best website to uh, get a big variety of stuff. And it's a nice organized website. What are you laughing at, Isaiah? I know what you're laughing at. I think. All right, here we go. We're going to head down the street and cut some stankin' grass. Looks like a municipal cutter here that you would see on the side of the highway. Cleaning the, uh, the shoulder. Almost done with water bottle number one. Yeah, it's an awesome website. 
It's very organized. You can zero in on what you're looking for. Everything's category categorized. we go. When things don't go right, all you can do is laugh. That's right. All you can do. I'm glad you stream Farm Sim all the time. I learned how to play FS22 watching your stream. Thank you, Mr. Hoffman. If it's an answer I can answer, I'd definitely try to, of course, but sometimes I, I just really don't have the answers. I'm still learning a lot. You, you would think as much as I play it, I'd know it all, but I don't. There's so much I don't know about this game. Especially when you get a bunch of mods involved. The mods change the game sometimes to where the answer's different from what the base game answer might be. If that makes sense. It's a heavily modded game. It's like the Heston bales the other night. We found out that the only way to pick those darn bales up is with a special trailer on the mod hub that's specifically for those custom Heston style bales. Like that's not a base game issue, that's a modded issue that you just have to figure it out. Because I wouldn't have known unless somebody helped me out and said, hey, you need this. And that fixed it. Terabytes and several hundred myself. Hundred. <laughs> Got some catching up to do that a lot of probably thousands. <laughs> good old Batwing, it's nice. It is a good it's a good attachment, isn't it? And it's got a nice working width to it, too. Can knock some grass out pretty quick with it. Pretty grass field, huh? Got some flickering going on on those trees. They're right on the edge of the map. That might be why. Uh, what's your mod count tonight? I think I'm up to 360, 400 mods current. I, I don't know. There's probably six, 700 on this profile. I don't know. I don't even keep track anymore. <laughs> it's like the big round JD Baylor needs special auto load trailers. Yep. Yep, certain mods sometimes need certain things to make it work certain maps like this map a lot of the large h maps have the uh earlage cornmeal and raw cornmeal uh. fermented cornmeal not all maps have that so you have to have certain tools like the uh that blower attachment that you put on the fermenter you have to have that it's the only way it's going to get put up in the silo So yeah, no matter how well you plan something, always messes up, and then you have to pro yeah you have to solve the problem. Just like the seed situation a couple weeks ago uh, with Stevie and Steerman, we couldn't figure out why we couldn't put darn seeds in the planters. There was a seed extension collision. We had to get rid of that mod, and then everything was fine. Go right down the middle of the field and kind of split it in half. Where can I get that mower? Right from the mod hub. What's up, Scotty? Jacob Nukestia! It's happy Friday, Frosty. Hope your daughter is starting to feel better. She's feeling a little better. She's not all better, but better than yesterday. 
better than yesterday. Thank you very much, Mr. Nukesty, for the massive $20 super chat. Thank you, brother. Close to 200, and I thought that was a lot of mods, says typical. Yeah, I, I, I get carried away. I like, I like having a massive selection. <laughs> it's just a problem, to be honest. Yeah. Some people out in the farm community, the farm sim community, are like, ah, he's a mod hoarder. He's a mod hog. Mm, yeah. What's it to you? I like using mods. Oh, well, get over it. <laughs> a lot of us like using mods. Uh, it's FS. Got a plan for something going wrong every time you fire it up. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. But I love testing new stuff out, trying new things out. Uh, maps. I mean, you guys know that. I'm on a different map quite often but yeah I love it I love seeing the different environments seeing what each map offers love checking out all the different tractors I, I, down, I download different plows, cultivators mower attachments Like it's not just one type of thing it's everything and I just like sifting through it all and just finding things I'll look at it and be like that'd be cool on this map that'd be cool on that profile that would look good with that tractor. And I just, just, you know, get her done. That's right, Jessica, just get her done. But yeah, I love it, I love it. All right, so uh, wrapped bales are not even a question. We don't have to make wrapped bales. Uh, hay bales, that's pretty much all I'm gonna make is hay bales. We already got the fermenters constantly making silage for us as long as we keep chaff. And uh, I don't even think we need to put cornmeal in there. Pretty much just chaff on this map. So chaff and hay. And maybe a little bit of mineral feed. That's about it. It's got a bunch of Angus cows. And that big uh, 2400 pig pen, it does not require any straw. You don't have to worry about straw. All it does is you feed them, and it produces slurry. So you do not have to do straw bedding on this map for the pigs. Which is another nice little bonus. Because can you imagine straw bedding for 2400 pigs? That would be a never-ending battle. Tried to play vanilla and it lasted one season. I remember when Farm Sim 22 came out. Uh, I remember we, the first day, we did like eight hours of just not, we, all we did was vanilla. And the minute they started adding stuff to the mod hub, I was like, all right, we're done doing vanilla. Let's start downloading stuff and having fun. <laughs> because vanilla is a little rough. It's still fun, but it is a little rough. There's so many mods that I use also that just make the game easier. Not easier as in like cheating, but just uh, like HUD hider. You can take all that stuff away and just enjoy the environment. See? All you do is Alt-H. Everything's back. Everything's off. Just little things like that. But yeah. Uh, store deliveries. That's probably my favorite mod for setting up a brand new farm. I can put the, uh, the spawn point anywhere. If I buy something, I want to put it in a certain shed. I just go to that shed put down my little spawn point, buy it, and then it appears right there instead of having to go to the store back and forth. Back, like, that's horrible. That's the worst part of setting up a farm is if you had to just keep going to the store over and over again. That Global Goods is a good game changer. Global Goods. Global Goods. Global Goods? 
power tools. That's another awesome one. Power tools. Add and subtract money. Um, fly into the sky. Which a lot of that stuff can be done with the, the dev console on the game. But if you don't want to mess with the dev console, you can just use power tools for a lot of that stuff. Nope. Spawn points uh, PC only. Because you gotta, yeah, use the keyboard to set it all up. One tractor I have on every... In gameplay is my 7, 8, 10 JD. I love them. That mod say it tons of times, huh? So you got it too. You know what I'm talking about. What is it, says Maximilian? What is it? What are you talking? Uh, for sure, I have a hidden Discord channel with thousands of links to random mods I might use someday. <laughs> there you go. I, I, it takes me, I'm not even kidding, it takes about 10 minutes to go through my mods when I set up a new farm, like to check what I want to use and uncheck things I don't want to use because I've got a lot of European stuff. So I'll sift through that. Like if I'm on an American map, I got to uncheck like hundreds of European mods that I don't want to be on my American map. Vice versa, if I'm on a European, I uncheck a lot of the uh, American stuff. Yeah, it's like a 10 minute setup just before I even launch the new map, before I activate all my goodies, all my stuff. How about this mower though? That thing's nice. Getting things done. Bambi. Bambi's in there. You are crazy, but that's why we like you. You're crazy. We got Intense coming in with level two for five months. Let's catch you later, Frosty. Have a great rest of the stream, feller, and keep being awesome, dude. You keep being awesome. See you later, Intense. Go check them out, chat. Intense Gaming. Not Intense Dude. Intense Gaming. I already messed that up. Go check him out. He's on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch. He's everywhere. He does that restream thing where you stream on all the platforms at once. Did you go through withdrawals when Giants was on vacation? I kept checking every day until I found out that they wouldn't be back till a certain day. Then I stopped looking, <laughs> but I was for a while. I just kept checking. I was like, when are they coming back? What the heck's going on here? They're not allowed to go on vacation. Chase. It felt like they were gone forever, didn't it? I thought there was going to be a bombardment of new mods, but it's been kind of quiet for being gone that long. But I think that's because they got a bunch to test. Like, they're testing everything. So they're probably way behind on testing and approving all the new stuff. But yeah, that John Deere four-wheeler came out today. <clears throat> and uh, the Kloss harvesters, I don't know if anybody noticed. Uh, those came out today as well. I think I have them activated. I'll show you guys here in a minute. John Deere 4755 Colossus and Tool Height Controller, my favorites on consoles, says Ryan. The 4755 is one of the most popular mods on the Mod Hub. One of the most downloaded. <clears throat> I, think, I think everybody's at least downloaded it at one time and tried it. Super popular. Is that the one you can... I don't know. One of them you can put, like, tracks on the rear. I don't know if that's that one or a different one. Yeah, John Deere's always popular. All 
right, home stretch. See, I, I can see. We can try. <laughs> we can try a course play. It's probably not going to work, but we can try to uh, have course play tether. Or, yeah. They could tether while I win row or one or the other. do tracks now that's what I thought yeah it's got rear tracks on it it's customizable this is a lot of grass not very patchy good pretty good yield when it's thick like that covering a lot of the ground you know you're gonna get a lot of bales out of there and stiff And this should get it. Final swipe. There you go. Too shabby. Oh, too shabby, laddie. Are there seven more people that haven't hit the like button yet? Why? Are we getting close to the big old 200 or something? Are we really close to 200? Only been live two and a half hours. Dang. Auntie Shabby? It's been a it's been a rusty show tonight. I'll take blame for that. It's been a little rough, but uh, I do appreciate those of you that are hanging in there watching. Hopefully it's still somewhat entertaining to you. Yeah, we've I've had a lot of issues on this map tonight. <laughs> Mostly my own fault, but still at the same time it's frustrating. But thank you very much for being here, as always. We got some nasty mud ruts back in here. Little spray down. Insta wash. Felt like being lazy on this map. I was like, we're not pressure washing, we're just insta washing. Alright, so next up is some tethering. I think we'll uh, hook up that Massey tractor to the Massey tether. Custom Fabric Production Factory has made me millions. It happens. What's up, Deep Creek? There he is. Three more days till my name change. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, that's what that's for. <laughs> Look at that. Let those little windows out. Cool. <laughs> Very nice. Cool tractor. Little bumpy. the wrong way. It's supposed to supposed to go forward, not backward. There we go. <laughs> I always enjoy watching your content. I don't always chat because I have a full screen, but you always do great. Thank you, Dale. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the kind words. Glad you enjoy the show. Who likes the Massey? You guys like that? 
Stevie, are you still watching Stevenson? What do you think of this tractor here? You like that? I know you like Massey's. I got the municipal orange going tonight, but... The red would probably look better, but I was mixing it up. Thought it was quite splendid looking, eh? Bad, not bad. That Lordy Bitsia says, hey, Frosty. Uh, what's up, Michael Vogt? Weird color for a Massey. Yep. Yeah, they got... Uh, like five different options. There's white, the silver edition, black beauty, and then red, and then this is the uh, municipal orange for uh, what, this is the color you'd see for city works, kinda. Hello from Portugal, call me Bruno. Hello, Bruno. You like that one, Stevie? Isn't that nice? It's nice. It's a good looking tractor, eh? <laughs> I had a feeling he was going to lock that. All right, let's unfold our tether. <clears throat> I'd, I'd really like... I would love... We're going to do a circle. We're going to go around the field once. And then... Then I'll see if a hired worker can maybe take care of this field so I can start wind rowing or something. Yeah, we'll do a lap around first. It's a pretty map, though. Even though I've had a ton of issues, it, it is pretty. It's very easy on the eyes, if you know what I'm saying. Except for the flashing trees. Stormy tracking. Yo! It's the weekend. Let's go. What's going on there? Odo now is in the chat. We were talking about you. Someone was asking about PC-related stuff. I was like, don't ask me. And then Michael Beetlebat says, You should ask Frosty's friend Podo now. And I said, You're right, mate. You're right. Uh, you're my favorite FS22 YouTuber, always providing phenomenal content. Scott, when you talk like that, it makes me want to just mm, say thank you, Daddy. Ooh, baby. Make me feel good when you talk like that. But I do appreciate the uh, the nice words. That's very nice of you to say that. Appreciate it. Yeah, I forget who it was asking. They were wondering if it's possible to find a decent gaming PC for under $1,000. And I said, yes. But don't ask me any more about it, because I don't know the answers. That's just a whole nother world. Everybody's got their opinions on how to go about doing that. So I just, I kind of stay out of it. You know what I'm saying? I just play the game, talk about the game. But yeah, I'm not your guy to help uh, build a PC. That's for sure. That's for sure. You don't want my advice, trust me. Yep, there he is, Mr. Beetle Betts. And Mr. Beetle Betts didn't like his new vehicle we gave him on the farm. <laughs> and he never said what color he wanted it, unless I missed it. But I don't remember ever seeing him say what color he wanted his, his personal vehicle to be. State new. I think a hired worker is going to do a splendid job. What do you think, chap? 
see how they do. We'll follow them for a little bit. Hodo, I have a drone. You want to see my drone? Sitting on top of a silo. See where I left it. <laughs> it's my drone. We'll go. We'll go spy on the hired worker. We're gonna go spy on the hired worker. Yeah. There's our uh, grass field we created tonight, chat. See, looks nice from a from a drone view. Get into first person view here. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. All right, so we're just gonna kind of hover right here and spy on our hired worker. There you go. I think of that. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. I found three flicker. Uh, oh, I found tree flicker was caused by downloading lots of different maps and not tipping out the shader cache. Pretty sure they're read once. There shouldn't be any more than two folders in the cache. Yeah, and I just deleted my cache yesterday before I went live. And I still, and I had more issues then than I ever have. Um, yeah, Leona was flickering like no other. Look at that. Hired worker doesn't even know we're watching. I'm watching you. I'm watching you, Jack Whacker. Don't you rip up my massy. They, they have no idea I'm up here. The spy who tethered me. <laughs> the spy who tethered me. Get it? Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, Kevin Flores coming in with the $20 super chat. Thank you very much, Misty Flores. This is Frosty. When was the last time you flew on an airplane? When I went to see my grandma. And where were you going? To see my grandma. Plans for the weekend? Can't see my grandma. She's too far away. We have a conflict on your Monday night stream, as in the same time the Cowboys send Tom Brady to retirement. I don't watch football. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to grandma's. She's 700 miles away. But that's the last time I flew. This drone is stinking cool. I love it. See how close we can get to the hired worker. Without them knowing. Maybe I can... Ooh. Let's see if we can land on top of the hired worker. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Slow down. Slow down. Yeah, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I thought this job was going to be easy, didn't you? Thought you could just relax. And watch the frosty show while you're tethering. No, 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 no. Gotta get to work. Got to get to work, man. Oh. oh, he almost ran me over. There we go. <laughs> oh, what a cool mod. What a cool mod. You could, you could, you really could make a cool little video using this thing. It's good stuff right there. All right, so now that we have uh, some tethering out of the way, we can go hook up to the wind rower. And I'm wondering if you can just leave this in the air and switch vehicles and just like leave it here. You know what I mean? Leave it right, right where it's sitting, right like that. Oh, nope, it falls right to the ground. All right. That's fine. Pretty cool, though. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, get our tether set up, or our wind rower. 
Uh, can you use follow me with the drone on the AI? I don't think so. The minute I switch to another vehicle, that thing... Oh, I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. Now you got me thinking. Whoa. That's a good question. I doubt it. But possibly. I gotta try that. That's a good idea. Dang. That's a really good idea. So we're gonna get behind. There's no way that's gonna work. That'd be so cool if it does. Got me thinking now. Good stuff. All right, let's get HUD Hider back out of here. That'd be so cool if it works. All right, control F. It's following, but it's it's stuck on the ground. Ow. Look at it. <laughs> it's working, but it uh, it doesn't stay in the air. Ow. That would have been so cool. Dang it. Yeah, it doesn't work. I mean, it works, but it doesn't. We'll deactivate that. Son of a gun. That would have been sweet if it worked. All right, what's going on here? All right, now I can't even... <laughs> Having some issues now. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good idea, though. All right, let's spawn over and get our other tractor. <clears throat> so, tether, or, uh, wind rowing, let's use... Let's take Alice for a spin. We haven't driven Alice tonight. Come on, Alice. Wacky looking tractor, huh? Old Alice Chalmers. Looks like a spider. Imagine the content with that. <laughs> I might have to make a little video. That thing's cool. I just... Follow me would have been sweet. If follow me would have worked and it stayed in the air, that'd be pretty awesome. I'm guessing 47 bales off this field, says Sean. I think there's going to be a lot. Uh, that baler makes pretty good-sized bales, though. So we're not doing round bales. We're doing uh, big square daddies. Whoop. Can you control height? It looked like you can. I, I had the height up, and it just fell right to the ground. I, I don't know. Maybe. Who showed up? Oh, Deep Creek. Yeah, we got Kevin Flores and Deep Creek in the chat at the same time. Don't think so hard, says Tony. <clears throat> are the Cowboys still on their... Are they still winning? Are they starting to lose some of their end of the season games? Oop, you don't want to unfold that yet. Dang. That hired worker's getting things done. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I got a frosty drone for real, Bradley. I guess you will have to miss the game. That deserves an ooh, mama, daddy. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's up, Phil? All right. Lower. 
activate. And make beautiful rows. We're gonna just kinda cut up the field here since the hired worker's still working. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Got a big old green cloud of dust smoke going in the air there right there. It almost looks like two Alice's are working, but that's actually uh, Massey over there. And this is another tractor from uh, Pleasant View. Who was in the chat uh, earlier tonight. He's been stopping in almost every stream this week. Yeah, he's got a handful of nice tractors on his uh, website. With Follow Me, with a tractor, you can control the distance that they follow. I would assume you can control the height, distance, with the drone. Something to test out later. Corey Hansen, I will. Keep that in mind. If there's a way, I would like to figure it out, because that would be very nice. That would be awesome if I can get that to work. Dusty. Thing we're in a enclosed cab. Wouldn't want to be breathing in all that. Do you know where you got that mod by chance, Frosty the drone? Corey, I got that on King Mods. I pretty much get everything on King Mods. And the cool thing about King Mods is a lot of the uh, a lot of the links direct you right to the website from that modder. Sometimes, not all the time, but uh, sometimes. And I do like it when it does that, because then you know you're getting it from the legit place. It'll send it to the itch.io site for that modder. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I'm throwing down right now? You feel me? That's right, Daddy. Now that you know what you know and you know, because you know about it. a big old swath. Whoo, we're gonna be pooping out bales like crazy. Trying to get <clears throat> somewhat organized here. Oh, this is gonna be a behemoth of a bale. The swath is gonna be one big worm. It's on the official mod hub too. The drone? Really? Or did the drone get added today? I can't, like I said, I can't remember. It might have got added today to the mod hub. I have no idea. First time using it though. It's pretty stinking cool. I like it. You know where you got up? Yep. <clears throat> well, thank you, Phil. The love doctor is in the house. The love doctor. <laughs> Dr. Phil. Tinted windows in this Alice. Beautiful. Oh, come on. Just blend that grass in. It's leaving regular grass on the field. Come on, man. Got to get my music back on. Decided to stop on me. Hmm. 
Ah oui, il y a rien. What do you think, chat? Not too bad. How's your kid feeling? A little better than yesterday. Not all better, though. Hope your beller has a big suckered on it. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> uh, the music stops on you every single night. Once I get further into the stream, it just stops playing. It goes for a while. Almost three hours straight, and then it just stops. Bottle's empty. I picked it up, the drone, off the mod hub, the Sarvo. Maybe, maybe, uh, is it a new, maybe, see, I can't remember stuff. Maybe they added it today. <sighs> it's tasty water. Uh -huh. Very good. Very, very good. My hired worker is done. Oh, he's finishing his last strip over there. He did a good job. He did a real good job. I'm happy with his performance. And that was just a regular good old AI worker, too. It wasn't a course play or nothing. Water under the bridge. Ugh. <clears throat> well, it looks like we're going to get uh, quite a good amount of hay bales, which is what we want. do is once we have all the bales those will get mixed with the silage from the fermenter that'll make TMR and bada bing bada schling schling shalumi and then of course we'll need straw I suppose we'll deal with the straw another day what do you call 53 millionaires around the TV watching the Super Bowl the Dallas Cowboys, says Tony. <laughs> yep, I haven't been following football at all. Last little strip to clean up here. And we got that section over there, but almost got her done. Hired worker did awesome. Look at that. Good job. I'm kind of scared to hire a worker to do this, though. <clears throat> That's more of a do-it-yourself type of job. All right, so we'll come back to that. I 
did notice a little patch at the one end that needs tethered up here a little bit. So we'll do that real quick. And that'll be done with the tethering. We broke 200. Nice. That's not normal. Usually we don't break 200 till like four hours. <laughs> we did it early today. We did it under the three hour mark. Goodness. All right, all done with that. Nice. You notice the uh, new stickers, uh, Deep Creek? You're like the only one that has a sticker obsession. Didn't know if you noticed. Got some new ones. Home sweet home. Got to place a uh, fuel pump, fuel tank, I mean, to uh, pop off on fuel. Forgot all about that. I did, they look good. All right, I was just making sure you knew. <laughs> got a got a few a few new ones. I do want to get a frosty drone one also. So uh, let's run the baler over. Ah, which tractor for that? How much horsepower does that baler need? Baler, baler, baler. Ooh, ouch, 190. Woo, baby. 190? That's a lot, man. Um... Might have to uh, whip out the old Lamborghini. 175, 430, 130, 170. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's use the Lamborghini. I like that tractor. Thing's nice. We'll go snag that from the uh, cow farm and look up to the baler with the Lambo.
I don't blame you. Freedom is getting to take my boots off and be inside in the warm, says Kalen. 15 of my 16-hour shift. Holy crap. That's a long shift there, Kellen. Woo! Yeah, you're ready to get home and relax. I need to... <laughs> That's dumb. I don't I don't want to have to keep driving across that. I'm going to fix that real quick. Going to make that little path. I mean, it's literally right across the street. No sense in turning left and going in there. <laughs> I'm going to make my own driveway. You feel me? All right. So, sand. There we go. Ain't like that, mate. Ain't like that. Splendid. Cool. <coughs> Alright, so we'll hook up to the Heston. Get to work. Ooh, I could have put the T7 on it. The New Holland T7, the one that did the, uh... That did the lime spreading. That would have looked nice. Pulling the New Holland Baylor. That's alright, we'll rock the Lamborghini. It's even got a little beacon on the Baylor, too. Fancy. Pretty cool tractor. All right, how many bales do you think we're gonna spit out? I have a feeling it's gonna be a crap load. This bad boy unfolded. Hopefully it has a decent uh, alarm on it so I can hear when it's about full. Lowered. Off we go. See, that'd be cool to have the drone up there following you watching this recording it or something oh nice. that's one that's one that's the only reason i wish i had a second pc so i could have a second farming account and do some awesome recordings because you can only do so much with the one pc that's that's the only itch that makes me want to get a second pc someday so I can make some really nice uh, farm sim videos. Until then, it is what it is. Especially for like the survival series. Ugh, I could have so much fun uh, setting that up. With the uh, dual PC, that'd be good, good stuff. All right, so it just automatically spits them out. Knocking them out at a decent rate. It's a bit bumpy. Forty four, I don't know. I don't think this is gonna be as many as you guys were thinking, huh? I guess we still do have the other half of the field to win row. A 
lot of patches we're gonna miss. It doesn't seem to want to get the whole swath, which is normal. It can be a little picky. Working in the natural gas industry has its perks, but when the K, K, K hits the fan, it gets go home time. And the caca. I haven't heard anybody say caca in a while. <laughs> Sixty-seven. Woo. I don't know about that. So far, we've made six. <laughs> six bales. But they're good-sized bales. You guys are used to me making round bales. So yeah, full bale. Whoo, wait, Bobby. A full bale is almost 12,000 liters. So that's why there's not as many bales. Uh, the round ones are usually like 3,500 each. The 125s. So a huge difference on capacity on each bale. Still pretty awesome. There's a lot of hay out here. Lots of hay. Too shabby. Whip around. Pretty much trying to get all the strips. All right, so we're all cleaned up. Uh, now we just got to windrow that half section there. Get it all bailed up. Be ready to rock and roll. Got some cleaning to do on this other end. I like round bales better. They're a lot easier to feed cattle. I, I do like that. Usually I always make round bales, but you know, we got a hundred Angus cows. So these will last a lot longer too. Because they're bigger. They there's more in it. Decided to use that new uh, Heston Baylor pickup. I haven't used it before. Ooh, we're down to 3,800 bucks. Ouch. Hey, caramba. So, yep, no live stream tomorrow, chat. All right, tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern will be the premiere, which means there will be a live chat. It just won't be a live stream, but it'll be a live chat for the premiere of episode 8, which is a uploaded video of the survival farming series on Dark Forest, the next chapter. That's the name of the map. And it's been like a survival series where you start with all we had at the beginning of that series was a little, little weird truck from the mod hub and a chainsaw. 
and then it's uh, we're on episode eight now. A lot has changed since the first episode, so if you haven't watched any of the other ones, maybe get caught up and get yourself up to episode seven so you can see what's going on tomorrow at eight o'clock for episode eight. I hope you guys enjoy it. I can't promise 100% if I'll be in the chat. I, of course, will try. But uh, it depends what I'm doing at that time. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to try to hop in there and watch it with you guys if I have the, the chance to. Darn trees flickering again. Loving the survival series. I can't wait to see how it ends. Oh, it'll be a while for it before it ends. Yeah, we're nowhere near the end. Uh, that'll be going on for a while. I'm thinking about maybe trying to get two episodes a week in. It, it just dep it depends when I can find the the recording time. But this week's been hectic. My son's been having more basketball games lately, so. Haven't been able to have that extra free time to get it done, but episode eight is done. It's already uploaded, just waiting for it to uh, release tomorrow. This is a chore, isn't it? It's the last one? No, 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 no. Nope, many more to go for it, Jeff. I hope it doesn't end soon, but it would be cool when it does to compare it to how it first started. Yeah, we, we don't even have our first fields planted yet. <laughs> but yeah, this episode's got a lot less uh, forestry, finally. We're finally slowing down on cutting the trees down because that was getting a little uh, getting a little rough. But uh, we got enough money saved up on that profile to pretty much start buying everything we need. So less, less cutting trees down. That's the only thing with that map. Every time we do want to make another field, we're going to have to cut trees down to get them out of the way. Which is fine. I'm going to have to come up. I think we are going to have to get rid of that little winch and invest in like a just a bigger log trailer. <clears throat> so it'll be a little you know be able to haul more at once instead of four logs that that got a little old it works good but it would be nice to uh load up more and make more money on each delivery did i get a new chair no i've had this chair for like two years now and it's still comfortable. It's one of those, uh, whatever they're called, secret lab, secret lab chair. Very good, very, very good quality. Highly recommend for anybody that sits and plays video games for very long periods of time. <laughs> very good brand, secret labs. Are we there yet? Almost. More swipes. You like it, Jeff? Thank you. Glad you enjoy it.
ride for the brand. Be nice to get a free chair from them. Be like, man, I sat my butt on your chair for two years straight. How about sending me a new one? <laughs> I'd be like, huh? It's not how it works. You want one, buy it. Like, Come on, man. I'll even tell people about it. Yeah, I've been streaming for over three years and I've never had a sponsor, like something to uh, sponsor. It'd be cool to have something that, you know, has to do with what I do, but I've never really looked for anything or gone about doing anything to secure one or I don't know. It'd be cool to have a little extra income coming in from something, you know? Some type of product that everybody would have interest in using or like at one time chicken and biscuit would have been great but I'd be the last person they'd want like who the heck's big rig frosty Keep sponsoring no chicken biscuit. Man, I would have sponsored the crap out of those crackers. Does Giants partner count? I guess. I don't get mm, I don't get anything from that barely. But yeah, I guess that is one sponsor I have. <laughs> How's your daughter feeling? A little little better. She's not all better, but better than yesterday. Slow slowly recovering. Hoping tomorrow she feels a lot better. Right, finally. Was it a daisy? kind of neat that out a little bit. Woo, it's like going over a little ramp. Do it for the hay. All right, tethering is done. We'll go drop this back off and then we'll grab the bale trailer. So we'll have that ready to pick up the bales when the baling's done. See, I'm thinking ahead tonight. Thinking ahead. Not normal for me. I'm usually four steps behind, but tonight I'm starting to get a little ahead of myself. I like it. I like thinking like that. What's going on, Frost? Just getting off work. How was work? Did you have a good day at work? Just been farming on a new map, uh, Mossy Glen, Iowa. This is based in Iowa. It was good. We had three calls. Not bad, not bad. Uh, maybe Floodwater could sponsor you. He can sing to us while you stream. I don't know about that one. And you won't be able to hear me talking. Just hear him singing the whole time. <laughs> this thing is just a swaying all over the place.
But look at the suspension on this bad boy. All right, there's our uh, Heston Baylor trailer. It's a specific trailer you have to have to pick up those stinking bales. First time ever using it. It looks quite unique, doesn't it? Look at that. Got like little bale spikes. It's cool looking. We'll get to try that out for the first time. Your firefighter. Jordan, yes, come up in and talk. You still live? Yes, I am. But we've been live three hours, 21 minutes. I can't end on not finishing this field. I gotta finish what I started, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's see here. Operating position, unfold bale loader. Ooh. Ooh. Slides to the right. Operating position. Oh! Let's see how this bad boy works. Mm, our nation? Tell me I don't have to do that myself, do I? <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on here. Fold baler, transporting position. Come on, just, just work for me. Jeez. Operating position. Operating position. You, you best be picking these darn bales up, like, right now. Are Tier 3 members technically sponsors? Yes, they are. Lift, low loader. Oh, there we go. Jeez. Heck is going on here? Fold bale loader, lift. This is stinking weird. Oh, there we go. My goodness, you gotta like be right on that bad boy. All right. So you gotta make sure you're hitting the center of the bale. Almost have to be uh, perfect. Pretty cool, though. Very interesting, huh? I do like it. I think it's quite lovely. So you want to straighten it out. What do you think? Pretty cool. Very interesting. Something different. Pretty cool. I must say, I, I quite like it. What do you think? You like it? Uh, swing and miss again. V to lift. Lower loader. Says Andrew. Yeah, I, I got it figured out now. So V puts that up and down. And then after every two bales, it puts itself back in the upright position. So you got to hit V again. 
And then you can also slide the mouse to uh, change how wide it is, but I think it has to be all the way open to work. It's very interesting. So it waits till the bale is centered. And there you go. Cool. So there, after two, it does not fall back down. You gotta activate it yourself. Yep. Thing works pretty stinking good. I like it. All right, we're at 80%, so it looks like we can uh, fit two more in there. Take a little time out. Look, I've got rocks. I've got rocks in my rock box. Pretty cool. Screenshot there. Are you going live this weekend? No. Nope. Uh, there'll be the live video tomorrow, the survival series at 8 o'clock. It won't be a live stream, but it'll be a premiere with a live chat. And then Sunday, I'll be off. So I'll be back on Monday. And Monday will probably be uh, members farming on Eastern North Carolina. So any tier three members, if you're listening, I plan to farm on, yeah, Monday, about 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Ooh, that's a swath and a half. Nice. Trying to stay centered so we don't have to go back and clean up too much else. Giant hairy mountain slugs. That'd be a good sticker. Giant hairy mountain slugs. <clears throat> what I used to call big strings of bales all like packed together out in a field to see that a lot growing up up north and I'd call them giant hairy mountain slugs you know what we're not coming back this way so let's clean up those little patches real fast Lamborghinis putting down the hammer, sort of. Not bad for a baler. It's going pretty darn fast, actually, for baling that much hay. Looking forward to it. Would love to play with some new members if anyone is considering. Yeah, we got we got a couple vacant trailers ready for uh, new workers. <laughs> Have you been in there? Yeah, you you've had to be in there, Jacob. Did you like your uh, personal vehicle? Maybe you haven't been in there yet. But yeah, we everybody has their own personal vehicle now. And we bought that huge field that surrounds the farm. That was about a half a million dollars. so quiet on the inside.
We don't want to. We don't want these little bits to be wasted. Because hopefully we won't need to make uh, any hay bales for a long time. Night, night. I have work 3 a.m. All right, Matthew. Have a good night, sir. Thank you very much for uh, hanging out as always. Appreciate you. Almost done. Two swipes to go. the end of the tree. Which multiplayer farm Frosty? Uh, for tier three members, we have a 24 server on Eastern North Carolina map. And I try to do that at least once a week. So uh, we were doing it on Sundays, but I ain't, I'm going to start taking Sundays off. So I think we'll move it to Mondays is when we'll do members farm. And, and that server is 24-7. So even when I can't be there, it's available for uh, Tier 3 members to farm on at any time. As long as they uh, follow the rules and farm to their heart's content. Trying to clean up <laughs> my mess. All right, very nice. Should be able to spit out about two bales out of here. <clears throat> All right, that. Is a job well done. It took a minute. But it got done. Right. We're gonna have to come back to uh, get the rest of the bales. We can only fit two more on this bad boy. picky like you got to be right on the middle of this thing to get it there we go that will be a full load right there Fold bale loader Z. All right, that lines it back up again. Nice. Ooh, she's struggling pulling it. So, uh, 10 massive bales. There's about 12,000 liters per bale. That's like 120,000 liters there. Not too shabby. I'm going to head out. Frosty been battling my 3D printer all day. Gone lay on couch. Have a great stream and premiere tomorrow. Everyone make sure you go watch it. Thank you, Podo. And of course, you all know Podo. He's got Podo Prints. He's got Twitch, Facebook, Podo Games, Podo Now. He's everywhere. 
make sure you guys check them out if you haven't already. Most of you already have, but most of you need to make sure you got the notifications on. Because he's all over the place. Got some good rest there, sir. And eventually, we will do some Overwatch or Call of Duty. It's been a while. We need to... We need to do that, sir. I gotta figure out a place to put these. Maybe I'll... I wonder if I can get away with throwing them in there. I bet this whole platform probably tips upside. Oh. So that'll be a little tricky. Hmm. Unless it pushes it off. If it pushes it off, that'd be great. I don't know. First time using it. Let's see what happens. Ah... <sighs> Old Baylor. <laughs> this might be interesting. Ah, transporting position. Old bale loader. Anybody know how to unload this thing? <laughs> I don't know how to unload it. Uh, we will even just hang, even if it's not streaming. Yeah, just hang out. Uh, dang it. Might be a bad idea putting this inside. It pushes them off. It should be all right. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, no, 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 cancel, 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 cancel. Or not. It, it was why. It definitely was why. All right, well, we got the bales in there, so that's taken care of. Not quite the way I was trying to take care of the situation, but it'll work. It'll work. Now I know that that tips upright. I figured it did, but you never know. Sometimes it pushes them off. That would have been cool if it pushed them off. But uh, either way, we got them in there. They had to be nice and dry. And one glitched into the... Ah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Do some reorganizing here. Whew. I jacked that up. could be wrong, but I think it's tips up. I think it tips up. I think you're right. Thank you, Stevenson, with the five or 450 pounds there, sir. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yes, sir, Bobby. Yeah, that was a, it's kind of a mess, huh? We didn't get robbed bales, did we? Two, four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's 10 of them total. Just making sure we didn't lose any. All right, cool. We cheated a little bit to uh, put those in there nice, but that's okay. 
All right, let's go grab the rest, and uh, next time we'll unload outside and just grab the uh, case to load them in there nicely. I don't know. This is, this is my first time using it. Dang, dang it. Dang it, Bobby. All righty. Get back at it. Uh, that looked like a dog trying to crap out a peach pit. It, it was it was a little rough, a little rough. They all made it into the uh, garage there. Is Mary asleep? I, maybe. That went pretty good, Abraham. I think it went very nice. Flava Daves, thank you. Why did work? It did work. All right, so operating position. Unfold. Drop. And bada bang bada ba boom. It works good. I like it. Little different, but I do like it. So it does eventually pick it up, even if you push it from the wrong angle. That's good. Six. Got a lot of bales, baby. Good stuff, mine. That's a good size uh, grass field. That took, that took a good hour at least, huh? Looks like we'll have just enough room. One last bale. Bada bang, bada boom. What do you think of that? <laughs> nice combo. I love this tractor, by the way. I don't know if anybody likes it. I love it. First time ever using this tonight. The sharp looking ride. Different. Got a weird, odd look to it, but I like it. All right, so we got 19 bales all together. Massive bales, too. That will be plenty of hay for quite a long time. All right, so this time we'll uh, drop them right over here on some nice flat ground. Hopefully this goes better than the last attempt. <clears throat> oh yeah. Pretty nice. And we'll even leave that there so we don't tip them over when we're uh, loading them up. I 
cannot wait to uh, become tier three, says Earl, because I have it on my laptop as well. Nice. So you're another farm addict. All right, let's uh, hook up to this little weight. See how high this bad boy can reach. Not very high. <laughs> this might be a little messy. Might be a tad messy. No problem. Two bales, no problem at all. I thought it was gonna tip or something. Actually wasn't bad. And I'll still have room to uh, store the Lamborghini in here. <laughs> no problem at all. Most people wouldn't park all this stuff next to that fancy uh, pickup truck, but Frosty does. I don't care. See if we can stab this one right here. Uh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, what a snag. What a snag. We got lucky there. We got lucky there. Uh, going outside, telling everyone is doing a good job. Don't count uh, on Deep Creek. Working on going night deep, Tony, same as you. <clears throat> uh, Austin Wall, have a good one. I didn't catch you were leaving there. Have a good night, sir. Yep, we're about done, too. I just want to get these loaded in here nice. Nice and pretty. Plenty of uh, hay stock to make our mix for the uh, Angus. I mean, we don't even need to make a mix. Like that's what I don't understand. Like, why would we need silage for Angus cows? Just feed them hay. But what do I know? I don't. I don't maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. I guess not. Look at this bad boy. It even lifts three of these. These are not small bales. These have 11,500 liters each. That's like 34,000 liters of hay. And this case is acting like it's nothing. I like that. We don't want to have a fire hazard. We don't want to block the door to the office. There's the office right there. Long, long as the, uh, long as we can get around it. All right, cool. Beautiful. What do you think, chat? It's a nice little stock rat bar. Um, ooh, let's go feed the, uh, let's go throw one of these into that little, uh, ring bale, that bale ring. Didn't even think of that. <clears throat> yeah, let's try that real quick.
yeah, we'll test that out. <clears throat> so I already gave them a little food there, but uh, there's also these guys out here that I think just drop the bale into that red bale ring and acts as a uh, trough. I mean, it acts as what they can eat from. It worked. Not seeing a darn thing in here, but uh, it did take the bale. So if we go into our animal section. Uh, we'll see right here that uh, they have hay. So let's let's throw two more in there. What the heck? That'll top them off. That will soft the mouth of that nicely. Nice place for rats to nest. Yes, that do. Have a good one, Bomination. Wow, you're still in here? You're crazy, mate. Have a good night, sir. Yeah, we'll throw uh, two more bales in. That should fill that whole bale ring. And they'll be fully stocked on the outside pen. So who knows? We might be back on this map. I kind of like it. There's plenty. There's plenty to do on it. It's just you know some old school farming, just relaxing. Nothing too crazy. It'd be nice if this thing starts showing that it's full of hay, but it doesn't show nothing. That I don't like. So it must be topped off. That's why that one didn't disappear. So, yep. So they've got leftovers in there. That'll start eating away at it. So they are completely full. That productivity will start. See, that's what the, it says milk right there. See, the, the feedlot doesn't have milk, but this one does. There's no place to get milk. So that must just be a typo. I don't know. I don't know. I'm stinking now. All I know is it's a little jacked up. This map has a, a handful of issues, but overall, it's still pretty. It's nice. Most of the stuff does work. <laughs> but it's all right. I like it. I'll probably farm on it again someday. Otherwise, I wouldn't have spent all that time uh, making those hay bales. I would have done something else. So that was evidence that I probably will stream it again someday. All right. Whoa. back and get the uh, Lamborghini. You have to make the cows laugh so milk shoots out their noses. Yes. Exactly what I was thinking, mate. That's right. to the house we go. I 
A Baylor's a beast, huh? Not bad. Uh, Dodge is made up of odd parts from other vehicles like Jeep, Ford used to be okay, work trucks, but not anymore. Chevy has the longest lasting trucks of all the American trucks. I like Dodge better. They look cooler. Chevys are ugly. Uh, let me see. All American brands of cars have issues, so all of them are equally bad. There we go. There's the real truth. I thought that was a darn fuel tank when I placed it. It's just a thing for seeds and mineral feed. That was a mistake. Watch out. You out. Oh, follow me is like, what are you doing back and in there? Uh, that's what the feed cows eat does in one hole and out the udder. Trap out at the udder. my new little driveway we put in. Decent show. I don't think anyone likes me. I'm too smart for most. That's right. Way too smart. <sighs> Boy. Ugh. I need to put in like a nice house on this map nice farmhouse to, to live in. And that is pretty much it. <clears throat> Love this four-wheeler. Right now, we'll just say I live right here. Here's my house. I can squeeze my body in there. Close myself in here and hide from anybody that's looking for me. Anybody that's out there. I'm gonna be hiding right here in my little, my little man cave. <laughs> All right, chat. I'm out of here. Have a good one. Hope everybody enjoyed the show. Uh, we did break the 200 reactions. So thank you very much for that. Make sure you hit the like button on the way out. Don't let that like button slap you too hard on the way out. Have a splendid weekend. Don't forget tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern, will be the premiere for the survival series. That is not a live stream. It is just an uploaded video that will be releasing at 8 o'clock, but it will have a live chat. So you guys can chat with each other while the video plays. It's about 30 minutes long, and it's part of the uh, survival series. That is episode 8. Sunday, there will be zero content. That is the one day off for the week. 
So I will catch you live on Monday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. My son, I think my son has a basketball game Monday. So that is subject to change. But uh, I'll try my best to go live on Monday. I'll keep you guys informed on the community tab. That's where you can keep up on all information regarding schedule and anything that might change. Uh, keep an eye on the community tab on Big Rig Frosty Gaming right here on YouTube. All new subscribers, thank you for joining. Uh, we're doing good. We keep building more subscribers. We're growing. Uh, we're constantly getting over 200 viewers and uh, love seeing new, new faces in the chat. So it seems like we get at least uh, two to three new people that say hello each night, which is awesome to see. And uh, hope you enjoyed the show. It was a little rough tonight. We had some hiccups. Definitely had some hiccups, but hopefully it still ended up being a decent show. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Revel, Quadruple A, Mr. Ninkstaff, Brett Akers, Andy, Mickey Trimmer, Tony Mortig, and Chris Cobble. Bill Mitchell, Rev, everybody, everybody listening, have a good one. I'm out of here. Catch you next time. Big Rig Frosted Gaiman, signing off. Goodbye.